Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. This is your biology ma'am, Raisa Rosana Khan. And in today's video, we are going to learn about food chains and food webs, which is the sixth chapter of your syllabus, chapter 2.2, page 30 and 31 from your book. Food chains and food webs. You know, sunlight are the energy of life. And food chains begins with the sunlight. Okay, well, life on earth is literally depending upon the sunlight and sun gives us light energy and that light energy is used by green plants to make food by photosynthesis. In fact, all the living things would die eventually if green plants do not use the light energy and photosynthesize. And there are two reasons behind this fact. First of all, we get oxygen from the process of photosynthesis and that oxygen keeps the air breathable for us. And secondly, photosynthesis produces food. So that's why if the sunlight is not used by these green plants and if they don't photosynthesize, eventually every life in this world would die. As I already say that food chains begins with sunlight but there are some other things which all together forms the food chains and webs. So what are those? Well, all food chains are comprised of sunlight, producers and consumers. We already discussed about the role of sunlight. Now let's look into the other one. So producers are those living things which can make their own food, for example plants and consumers are all those creatures which depends upon plants food either uh, directly or indirectly additionally those consumers have different characteristics like not all consumers are the same first of all we have the primary consumers which actually depends on plants food like they only eat plants so they are also known as herbivores and some examples can be cattle then rabbits or green flies and so on secondly there are secondary consumers uh, which relies on not only plants food but on our each other as well okay so they are also known as carnivores so they eat producer as well as the herbivores we can say or the primary consumers and car carnivores such as fox and hawks are some of the examples of them now there is another consumers which is not mentioned that is the tertiary consumers which eat producers primary consumers and as well as secondary consumers okay so what can be summarized from all this explanation we can simply say that sunlight provides the light energy which is used by the producers as in the green plants to uh, which like enables them to make their own food and get energy and this sunlight energy is passed among the consumers when they eat the producers and when they eat each other and as a result this flow of energy from producers to consumers actually makes up the food chains and food web now let's get to know about food chains and web separately starting with food chains so they actually follows a linear network and are usually less complicated for instance plants rabbits and humans so in this case humans eats rabbits and rabbits eats the producers or the plants and as a matter of fact all food chains begins with green green plants which makes food by photosynthesis with the help of sunlight now on the other hand food webs are not following this linear network because you know consumers do not rely on only herbivores or on only one carnivores for instance human eat food other than rabbits we don't only eat vegetables or chicken right we are depending on different types of consumers and similarly other consumers depend on many more other consumers as well right like uh, rabbits are eaten by both humans and foxes or hawks so we can say several food chains are connected together to form a food web okay okay next we have some more examples of consumers well carnivores are not the one and only category of consumers there are parasites scavengers and decomposers as well which are involved in the food webs 
where parasites are those consumers which feed themselves from all over the food web for example fleas feeding of the animals like almost every animal of the food webs they are like feeding on those animals secondly there are scavengers and these are the consumers which usually eat dead organisms and an example can be carrier carrier crops or vultures then hyena and so on lastly there are decomposers as well which in fact plays a vital role in the food web what do they are actually doing well um the decomposers are the ones which they are like uh, decomposing the dead things into liquids which ensures healthy plants like they are ensuring this healthy plant life by keeping the soil fertile some examples can be bacteria and fungus so here are some examples of food chains and if you focus on them you would see how they maintain a simple linear network okay next here are some examples of food webs like in a pond or on a desert or on a forest and how all of the consumers are feeding on each other like they are not maintaining any linear network here okay Okay guys so that is the end of the chapter i hope all of you understood inshallah we will meet in the next class all of us